Is Blue Archive a good gotcha game or a good first gotcha game? I wanted to discuss this topic primarily because, as I've mentioned previously, my first gacha game was Genshin Impact. I was drawn in by the graphics, the gameplay style, and the themes, and ultimately I didn't necessarily branch out until much later on, about half a year after I first got into the game. So given that I play so many others, Counterside, Artery Gear, Arknights, Blue Archive, Honkai, Alchemy Stars, etc., I want to discuss if Blue Archive, in my opinion, is a very good first gacha game, and what I would recommend to newer people. Now, right off the bat i want to say that early on pretty much every gacha game does help you not realize just how important summoning and rates are going to be later on like for me genshin impact never made me feel like i needed to summon until i got to like the ar 50 slash 40 stages and it was really good about rewarding me especially early on like as a newer if you're an older player who has played genshin since the beginning you kind of know at that early game stage there was a lot of things you could do but now there are a lot of things you need to do that you don't really want to and with Blue Archive, the game, in my opinion, has never made me well. I've never put money into Blue Archive. So from my current standpoint as a free-to-play player, I've gotten everything I wanted. But I also understand that the rates can be awful because of just how bad and how deep in you need to go to get a character, at least guaranteed. And considering there's nothing that carries over. For instance, there is a pity system, but the pity system doesn't carry over between banners. So if you go into 199 pulls to get a character and you don't, and you do that 200th pull after that character leaves, you don't get that chance again. You still have to start over from the beginning. And because of that, it's very, very difficult, in my opinion, if you have bad luck to get onto a good path. A lot of individuals say luck doesn't matter because everything evens out. I don't think so. I think if you if you have individuals who've gotten every character, at least in Blue Archive or other gacha games, on a 10 pole or maybe in 20 poles, it, their experience is entirely different from somebody who in Genshin always loses the 50-50 or somebody who has to go to maximum pity in a gacha game. So if we're not factoring in the average luck, then I'd say early on, at least if you're starting out, the best gacha game that I would recommend for a lot of individuals to get used to the idea of a pity system and of ruling for characters would be Arknights. Because sure, Genshin's pity carries over between banners, not on the weapon banner, but still. But in my opinion, it does make you, it does make the idea of getting a new character much more difficult. Arknight at least gives you that first 10 roll in which you're guaranteed to get something of high rarity. You also have Recruitment, which is essentially a free pull. You also have Epic 7 as well, and I recommend both of these games. Now, I may have previously stated numerous bad things about Arknights in my opinion on my channel. However, when I'm discussing a game and viewing it from just a starting perspective, I like to imagine that what comes first and foremost while you may interact with the story most and while you may interact with the gameplay most, the gacha system itself is kind of an integral part. And the less money you feel inclined to spend in the gacha game, the better. So Arknight takes that approach beautifully because you do have a chance of getting a high rarity unit. And there are so many characters that you can pick up now to the extent to where you probably won't feel the need to roll for a new unit. Whereas with Blue Archive and Genshin, it is a lot more prevalent in my personal opinion. And this even comes down to a few other gacha games, but I'm primarily focusing on the big three. Blue Archive as the one I've covered the most, Genshin Impact as the most popular, and to that extent Honkai as well. But with all of these games, whether that be by the community, whether that be by the game's own admission, because many of them, if we're talking about Genshin, don't add the units back into standard banner, you don't really have a chance to pick up characters unless you're hunting for the limited ones, and considering they only last 20 days, it feels a bit more like you're inclined and have to wail to get a unit sometimes. Now, in regards to other gacha games, while there are many that I would personally try and have personally tried, and sure, there are some really popular ones. You had Nino Kuni Cross Worlds, which was impactful or at least rising until it died out immediately. And you have upcoming gacha games. I really feel like the ones that have solidified themselves are much more approachable, in my opinion, which is why I'm recommending something like Arknights. Now, I would recommend trying out all of the gacha games as you can, and not necessarily wailing into them, but trying them and seeing which ones fit your preferred style of gameplay. Many of them are much more easy to pick up and put down. I'd say that Blue Archive, because of the sweep feature, is much easier to pick up and put down than something like Arknights. I'd say that games like Counterside, Artery Gear, Epic 7, and even to an extent Blue Archive, because of the auto play feature they usually have, whether that be with Blue Archive's, you know, auto skip or, you know, skill usage where you can actually just let the game run itself or the direct autoplay of multiple games in which it just runs itself in the background is much more efficient than Arknights, which really makes you do everything manually. 
and Arcanine's because of its gameplay style is much more fast paced in comparison to something like Genshin. So if you're looking for something that's easy to pick up and put down, I argue try Epic 7 first. There's such a variety in not only how the games handle their gameplay, their gacha system, but the story as well, that there are bound to be games that you prefer that I don't, and that games that others may prefer that you don't. So ultimately, when it comes to gameplay, that's a personal thing. You have to decide which games you prefer, which ones you don't, and I can't make that. But instead, if I'm relying on gacha itself and on the rates itself, I'd say Arcanites is probably the best pick because while the rates themselves may not be the best or the exchange amount in terms from money into gacha currency, the game itself is very good about not making you feel like you need units. And at the same time, if you get a unit, they're very likely to be unique and you have multiple avenues. Aside from just the gacha itself, the game will give you certain units. You have the events which will give you certain units. And then you have as well, the fact that recruitment can give you not only multiple lower rank units, but higher rarity units as well. This means that pulling isn't the only way. Whereas if you're playing Genshin, the only to get a new unit is occasionally from the event which is like three times a year and the gacha game or the gacha system itself blue archive is vaguely the same way it sure will give you one unit but that's pretty much it the gacha is the only way to obtain a new unit whereas arc knights does have different avenues for that and i appreciate that and i think as a new player a lot of individuals will regardless that is my take on what is the best starter gacha game if you have different opinions feel free to leave those in the comment section down below don't get me wrong all are appreciated and i would love to hear yours because i know there are many games that i haven't played regardless if you enjoyed hey consider subscribing and i hope to see you next time goodbye